Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to game in Proxbox. So, uh, this video will consist of uh, creating a Windows VM using one of our one-click templates. And then from there, we're going to be installing the Vertio One drivers, which I'll show you how to do. And then we will pass through our GPU uh, using a few commands. And then once that's done, uh, we'll actually get to installing some games and uh, doing a few benchmarks. So the GPU that I'm going to be passing through is an RX 570. Um, so obviously that will vary depending on your GPU, how much FPS you get. Uh, but we're going to base it off normal bare metal RX 570 benchmarks. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to download a template, you're going to first go to the HSVU website. Uh, that will be linked in the description below where you'll find all the commands and uh, a guide on how to uh, fully set this up if you don't like watching videos. Um, but all the commands and links are in the description below. Um, but on the HSVU website we're going to go to pages and then downloads. And then we're going to navigate to the HSVU Windows 11 uh, download. You can see QEMU 2000. Uh, if you follow the guide, which is under guides, virtualizing macOS, and then using our templates, again, linked in the description below, you can find out how to import this into Proxmox. Once you've imported it, you should be on a page similar to this. My uh, VM ID is 2006, just because it's a pre-release template. Uh, but for you, obviously, it'll be VM ID 2000. We're going to then restore the template, select a storage, and then give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Gaming VM. I'm going to give it some more RAM, so 16 gig gigabytes of RAM. Click on Restore, and then that'll begin to restore. Again, um, we're going to wait for this. I won't keep you waiting because it does take quite a bit depending on the speed of your disks. But once it's done, uh, I'll be back with you. So you can see it's now finished. You can see Task OK at the bottom. If we close this dialog now, and then head over to Gaming VM, go to Hardware. You'll notice uh, that at the moment the disks are at RAW. So if you want RAW performance, um, that might be why it's called RAW. Um, you want to stick with the RAW disks. If you uh, want to use features like snapshots, which are available with RAW, you may uh, consider looking at um, converting them to QEMU2. Um, to do this, again, link in the description below, you'll find a guide on how to do so. I'm going to stick them at RAW today, um, just because I want the best speed possible. Um, but if you want anything else, um, such as snapshot, uh, please do visit the guide below. If you take a look, uh, we've got two disks here. We're going to um, go to the host here, and then shell. And then do nano etc pve qemu server 107.conf 107 is our vm id again link in the description below you'll find the commands press enter and then you'll see the configuration file on the ide 0 and ide 2 drives you're going to change from cache equals none to media equals cd rom like so Control X, Y, and Enter. Go back here. You can see they've been converted into DVD drives. Now, for me, I've got VLAN set up, so I'm going to set one. But for you, just untick Firewall and click on it. OK. Then, if we go to Console and start the virtual machine, we should shortly uh, get thrown into the Windows setup. You can see we're in the Windows setup again. Uh, it's not going to be the smoothest in the world because there's no graphics pass through, uh, but we're going to get onto that later in this guide. You can see uh, we've got a loading bar on the Windows 11 VM. Once this is done, uh, we're going to navigate through this normally, uh, like we will with any under other Windows setup. So um, I'm going to wait for this to finish, um, and then you guide through it. Um, if you want to sign into Microsoft, etc., go and do so. Uh, but I'm just going to wait um, for this to do, and then I'll meet you on the Windows 11 desktop. So you can see we're on the Windows 11 desktop. So there's a few things that we need to do before passing through our GPU. So first of all, if we go to File Explorer, 
and then go to this PC. You can see we've got two disks. This Windows 11 disk, it's just got some uh, readme files in uh, and a place where you can download applications. But we're looking for Vertio Win. If we double click into that and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a Vertio Win guest tools application. If we double click on that, agree to the terms if you agree to them and then install. And then we're gonna go through this again, I'm agreeing. Next, next and install. This is going to install the necessary drivers that we need to pass through our GPU to Windows 11. So once it's done, if we click on finish, then it's going to install QEMU guest agent. Once that's done, um, we're ready to really pass through our GPU. What I recommend you doing is go into the start menu and then type in, in uh, settings and then go into system, scrolling down and enabling remote desktop. If we turn that on and click on confirm. If we then right click and open up to the task manager, you'll see we need to find the IP address of our uh, virtual machine, mine's 10.0.20.12. Once we've found that, we can shut down the VM and pass through our GPU. If you haven't completed the pass through guide, again go to our website and find the guide where you can pass through um, PCI pass through, which Tor's kindly put together. Um, if you follow this, you'll then be able to pass through your GPU just like I'm going to do right now. So if we go to the hardware section, click on add, PCI device, raw device, select your GPU here, and I'm going to tick all functions, PCI Express, primary GPU and ROM bar. If I click on add, that'll appear here, and then if we go to display, edit, scroll down, go to none, and click on OK. We are then ready to boot our virtual machine back up again, so we click on start. We then need to get prepared our uh, remote desktop, uh, so opening up uh, remote desktop, typing in the IP address and then connecting through it. So I've now used remote desktop to remote onto the Windows 11 PC, uh, which is obviously the virtual machine. Um, remote desktop, if you're on Windows, you just basically type in RDP in your start menu, put that IP address that we identified in before, uh, and then your username and password, and then you'll obviously get the remote desktop. If we look in Task Manager, we should see that obviously we cannot see our GPU yet. It does look like it's trying to download them on the um, Ethernet adapter. You can see there's quite a few um, things downloading, and the disk is quite utilised. Uh, but if we go to our web browser, again, just try and get to the internet without it asking you all this stuff. And then, obviously, we're going to go to Google and download. For me, it's RX570, but if you have a different GPU, you're obviously going to go to RX570 drivers and then click on the first link. For me, it's uh, AMD's website. And then I'm on Windows 11, so I'm going to download the AMD software. I'm going to download the Adrenaline Edition just because we're doing some benchmarks for gaming today. So if I click on download, that'll begin to download and it'll appear in our downloads uh, once that's finished. Again, depending on your internet speed and the size of the file uh, for your GPU, depends on how long it's going to take. You can see mine's got about six seconds left, uh, but yours might take longer. Once this is downloaded, we're going to run the setup file. And then from there, um, we should uh, get a prompt to reboot uh, after the drivers are installed. And then we should be able to see that in um, the actual um, task manager and device manager. So if we click show in folder, minimize edge, and then click on the file and click on yes, you can see it's doing its thing. Um, so we're going to wait for that. Um, and then we'll get a driver installer and you're just going to install it like any other program really uh, it's just going to be a driver instead of a program so you can see it's initialized the install we'll get another window then uh, which will detect what GPU we have and then from there uh, you can see it's detecting from there it should ask you uh, is this the correct GPU and then we can start installing things on it it does look like uh, it is doing a few things um, you can see Windows updates currently in progress, but I do believe it has um, it's doing its thing. So it nearly pulled 10 gigabit of bandwidth then. Um, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait. You can see it says GPU 2 and it's found the RX 570. Um, but I don't want to uh, just leave it at that. I want the proper drivers. Um, so I'll see if I can run it again and then I'll let you know. So I re-ran it and you can see it's picked up the RX 570. I'm just going to not allow that. If we click on install, that will then begin to install the drivers and the sound audio drivers along with the AMD software. If you're on NVIDIA or a different AMD GPU, the install process will be similar and straightforward. But again, if you do need any help, please visit the description where you'll find our Discord server uh, where you can ask a few people for help. You can see once this is done, um, it might ask us to reboot. Again, I'm not going to keep you waiting, uh, so I'll meet you in a moment. So you can see that the install's finished and it's asking us to restart, so we're going to do that. Then once it's restarted, uh, we're going to um, boot back in and then we should see uh, the AMD software along with the new GPU in Task Manager. So it's rebooted and we're back on the desktop. If we right click and open up Task Manager, you can see uh, GPU 0 is now the 570 um, and you can see uh, we are um, we have the Adrenaline Edition software, uh, which we're going to open just because I'm going to apply some gaming specific um, tests uh, and some settings that will allow me, if we click on Quick Setup, Performance, click on Start Gaming, this will then uh, make sure that it's ready uh, to start gaming. Also, if we shut down the virtual machine and go back to the hardware section of the virtual machine again, um, we're just going to change a few settings. So, once this is shut down, if you give it a few moments, um, we're going to then head to the hardware section and change some CPU properties that will make our experience a lot better. So if we go to hardware and then processors, you can increase it. I'm just going to leave it at 4. I'm going to set this to host for the type. Give it a uh, 1024 CPU units and click on OK. Boot up the VM again, connect it through RDP, uh, and then we're ready to start doing some benchmarks. So we're back on Windows 11 now uh, with the GPU pass through. I'm going to download some uh, benchmark tools uh, just for GPU and gaming, and then um, we're obviously going to see the results. So, first, we're going to try the Heaven benchmark. Um, so we're going to run it in DirectX 11 um, and in high quality. Uh, this is an RX 570 burn in mind, uh, so this might uh, not be great. Uh, but we're going to run this benchmark. Click on OK. It won't run in full screen just because it's through IDP. Uh, but we should be able to see in a few moments um, what sort of FPS we're going to get. Again, it might look really crap uh, through a remote desktop session, but we should get a realistic um, result at the end. So you can see we're getting about 150 FPS in high on this GPU, um, which is absolutely great. Again, um, comparing that to a RX 570 on burr metal, I'll do uh, near the end of this video. But you can see nearly 200 FPS in high quality. Uh, and it is actually playing quite well through the local area network through uh, remote desktop. You can see um, some great quality. Um, if I bump this up to Ultra, let's see. Um, it is an Ultra now, apparently. Um, let's just do a benchmark. So this is Ultra quality, um, and we'll run the actual benchmark. Uh, once this is finished, uh, I'll show you the results at the end, and then we'll go on the internet and see if we can find a comparison for burr metal. So here we go. So the, here are the results. Uh, it's benchmarked in 720p, uh, so do bear that in mind. Uh, but you can see we've got 4,120 points uh, with an average FPS of 163, uh, which is brilliant. Do bear in mind, uh, my Ryzen 7 2700X, I've only allocated four cores or four threads to this. Uh, and there obviously is 16 threads. So it would get much higher, uh, but again, I'm running other things on this server. So you can just throw, it just shows how powerful uh, virtualization is. If you want to compare this, uh, please do 
um, post your results uh, in the comments if you do have an RX 570 and we can compare this in 720p windowed. So uh, that's how to game on Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. If you want to see any more videos like this, uh, please do let me know by leaving a like on this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.